So who are we talking about today? Girl by the name of Nala the Ninja, or Nala Fitness, is going viral once again. But your biggest fantasy is... She, not Yushi. even my biggest, it's like one of my fantasies. About a year ago, many clips surfaced from her appearance on the Whatever podcast. Now, Nala is very recognizable because of her fire hydrant red hair and her schizophrenic nymphomaniac personality. But let me remind you, this is all a performative act. And if you can't see that, you're fucking lost, buddy. Because I'm so not normal, I need someone to equalize me. If they're crazy Balancing. and I'm crazy, it just doesn't work. So, yeah. How are you crazy? I'm dominant. You're dominant? Yes. Like you want to what? I'm daddy. You're daddy. Uh-huh. Whoa, wait, show the tattoo to the, the camera right here. It just says daddy. If you're new to this entire gotcha podcast dynamic, let me give you some context. The entire premise is putting promiscuous OnlyFans loosey-goosey women against traditional conservative Christian men and watching the chaos ensue. These podcast situations are used in echo chambers to reinforce certain ideas about how the West is failing and how far women have gone with their degeneracy. And for the women, it's just an OnlyFans funnel and a lot of the times the podcast hosts pay to get them onto their show because they're the ones bringing the content. If you've attended one singular theater performance or even an acting class, then you can tell that Nala is putting on a clinic right now, just basking in the fact that she's making the other guy feel uncomfortable. It's like you don't know what to do, but like you're, you're making them go insane. Like that girl is going insane with what you're doing to them. Oh. That's hot. It's like, it's I'm guys fucking like, this girl into oblivion right now. Like, uh. fuck. Like, she's losing oh. her sanity. Okay. Ah, that's just so cool. All right. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> and bro over here's job is just to be the most milk-a-toast, fence-sitter, middle-of-the-road, absolute fucking brain-dead, oh, that's crazy. Oh, subscribe to the whatever podcast. What changed? Like, was there a precipitating moment? My mom. <laughs> like, was there some moment where you just snapped or? This oh no! So honestly, I was so um, I felt so alone being a Christian. I felt so like being a, a pastor's daughter. You're you're looked up to by not only the church but your family standards are so high, and it felt just like the mean, most. Um, like the biggest cage I've ever been in in my life. What do you mean the family standards? My right? family standards. Oh, your family So being standards. extremely modest, but not like wearing like pencil skirts, stuff like that, no makeup. Mm. It was it was just, you know, being very modest, you know? Um, You're representing the church kind of you thing. You are. It's different. What's funny to me is that Nala is actually smarter than everyone sitting at this table. Nala, you mentioned at the beginning, you describe yourself as the Ahigao queen, I yeah. think. What What is that? So I, um, I've been watching anime for a long time now, and I'm fascinated by the, the culture of Japan and what they do with the characters, and I feel like it's just so different. And so basically the Ahego face to me is like the cum face, like you're just in so much fucking pleasure, you're just gonna like burst your brains out. Like for me, I just love the past, like the look. I just love it. What, and what is the... No, it's a good thing. It's more like, like a Christian. Want, no, it's like a Christian, Christian looking at me like, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what the fuck? He's so disappointed. <laughs> you already know this absolute pocket square of a Christian man would fold like a lawn chair if Nala straight gawked his shit. May the power of Christ compel you, succubus. Has Steve, anyone what? done the Ahego face to you? Uh-oh. Wait, he's a married Wait, is man. this a whatever podcast? Has your wife this? ever done that? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's like sure. oh, it's just like the cross eye. No, like like, ah. Oh god! Oh, oh, god. It's oh, even god. better. Damn, like, really? roll and shit. Into the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's cool. It. That's it's wow. even better when you can hold it. And wait, real. what is the uwu? What is it? It's just like an anime word. It's just like R -R -R what is the difference uh, between the two? Uh, uwu is like cute and like little like it's like not kawaii. Sexual, it's very always, cute. Yeah, it's kawaii. 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 I like to think that Nala the Ninja is a more perfected internet personality version of Belle Delphine because when it comes to Belle Delphine, she would just post and then dip. This girl is going on podcasts and blurring the line of reality and character. Like, oh. for me, it's like, I'm so passionate about a lot. Like, all I can do in that moment is just, ah! you know, I'm not even being fucked right now. And it's like, ah! you know, <laughs> it's like excitement, pure excitement. 
What are you? Good times. Yeah, good times. I like how you're worried about us saying, I'm so like, disturbed by all of this. <laughs> I love that. Then this yeah, is this is a- the most important thing to note here is that Nala just said that she gets off on the fact that she's making him feel uncomfortable, which is the exact foundation for her next grift. When I was doing OnlyFans and serving the devil truly, like, my works were in vain. But since I became a Christian and got baptized and rededicated my life to the Lord, so much has been going on in my life and I feel that the spiritual warfare, oh my gosh, it, we are at war, fam! Yeah, Nala the Ninja is now denouncing her past OnlyFans self and is opening up her life to God. <laughs> if you believe this fucking grift, you're not gonna make it. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so really quick, I have a couple things to address and I just need you to listen to me. So, I've had quite a few people reach out to me, comment, you know, just truly curious about what and why I changed. So, so listen, I was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship and I'm the middle of five children. So I'm talking about my other brothers and sisters and my parents. It just truly felt like such a cage. I was a very rebellious child, like sneaking out when I was like 16 years old. I was like, I was just going the wrong way, right? So... About four years ago, I started my OnlyFans because I think truly it was out of pure rebellion. Yeah, Uh uh-huh. Starting an OnlyFans out of pure rebellion as a consenting adult to spite your Baptist preacher father. What? (laughs) In December of 2023, a couple months ago, Nala was baptized. Now, why would she record it and use it in these TikTok and Instagram edits to promote her new Christian life? Is she turning over a new leaf? Or is she deliberately tapping into that trad con LARP, the traditional conservative role play to get even more money. This is a lead funnel. At no point did she actually delete her OnlyFans account like she said she would. As of March 1st, her OnlyFans account is still active, which means she has still profited the first two pay cycles of this year. As of March 14th, she just deleted videos and pictures, but the account is still there. And this can be chalked up to her just getting more heat for keeping her content on her page. In an apparent leaked message, she said, just wanted to say I'm not going anywhere, but I am changing my page to be more me and who I am right now. So we're under construction for a little bit. And I'm sorry, if I'm a little slow to reply for a couple of days, but I'll be right back. I can't think of a more intoxicating grift if you're a young Christian boy deluding yourself into believing that you are the only one getting exclusive access to Nala's naughty side after she's a born-again virgin by being baptized. Clothing line dropping soon. Hashtag be the change. (laughs) Whoever her boyfriend is, who is obviously helping manage her OnlyFans career, is a genius because they are tapping into that tradcon LARP wave that is consuming almost all of social media. Every year, we get new ideologies and aesthetics that take the internet by storm, and this is just another evolution of that very phenomenon. And there will always be grifters ready to prey upon those people who are too stupid to realize that they are the ones getting sold. A common misconception about OnlyFans girls making a metric fuck ton of money is that most people believe that they make a majority of their revenue from that monthly subscription fee. When in reality, all of the money comes from the DMs, the a la carte services, the fever dream where you think you are getting exclusive access to her spreading her pussy in private messages. When in reality, Joey, Jimmy, and Johnny are all getting the exact same photos that you're paying for. There's probably a small devout Christian crowd that can't fathom the fact a girl would be blasphemous before God and lie about her conversion to Christianity when in reality she's just grifting. It just goes over 
over their head because in their mind, she is being condemned to an eternity of hellfire. But none of that matters if you don't believe in it in the first place. So you really think the girl who grew up in a repressed Baptist household who holds contempt for her father is going to give a flying fuck about morality? Oh, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Jesus welcomes all. Most of these traditionally conservative Christian LARPers pick and choose the doctrine that fits their life view the best, and then they sit upon this moral high ground while virtue signaling to everyone else as to why they're morally superior. So I don't feel bad if they fall for this grift. You guys need to understand something right now, and it's so important for you to know and understand what's going on in the world right now is not a coincidence. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back with a sword. You know, this world is getting darker and darker. You see it on the TV, you hear it in the music. When you go to concerts, when you're just out and about, there is evil and darkness surrounding us right now. Bro, this girl is such a good actor, the griff level is over 9,000. Her stage presence and comfortability with the camera from doing and taking naughty selfies really shines. I can't believe trad cucks are falling for it, but then again, I can believe it. <laughs> She also created another paywall community on her TikTok for her live community. So yeah, I just want to highlight the, the levels that people will go to to grift you. Hey, wait, let's do it my way. I can 